this is just going to be a quick video on how to set up a real basic, clean uh, WordPress website. Uh, with, we basically have it set up with just a couple different pages here, uh, but you can do pretty much whatever you want. Um, we actually have the logo dropped in, so it, it's pretty much however you like to handle it. But here's, um, here's how it gets started. It's pretty simple, so just follow along. So here we're starting at the startup page for WordPress. This is basically the back section getting into your uh, blog or website. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and type in username and password and click login. And what we're going to do is we, we have our basic website set up to our, it's pulled uh, to basically DaveStakes.com at this point. And um, what we have is it's just the basic version that comes when you uh, do a pre-install here. Uh, we do want to change that to make, give a simpler and cleaner um, website that I'm looking for. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and install a new one. So basically we're going to come down to appearance and go to themes. Click on that and we're going to add a new one. And what we're going to type in here is, is origami. And it's right there. Do a search for it. And then what we want to do is actually install it. And then we need to activate it. So make sure you activate it to get it to pull it up. So that you have to do that to make it uh, become the main theme. And then you can just preview it if you like to sort of see what we're getting. Uh, so what we need to do is make some changes. We have you know, our basic title here and all that. And then some of the pages and all this other stuff. I want to have a simpler website. So we are going to get rid of most of this stuff so it's not there. So what we want to do is go up to, to my website and go down to widgets. And on the widgets, what we need to do is inactivate all these. So we're going to basically drag them and drop them in the inactive widget spot. These are typically used more for a blog site. So, And uh, then what we can do is just check and see how it's cleaned it up. So right now, we're already starting to clean it up a little bit. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and start making some changes. So we're going to go to Customize. And we have some options with this one. We want to change uh, the, the color here. So what we're going to do is go to the, get down to the background image. I want to have white, uh, completely white site. So we're going to get rid of this color. That's the background image. So we come over here and we click on that. And it basically gives us the upload. And what I've done is I, I uh, created a JPEG file of just a white background. So I'm going to go ahead and grab that and drag that in. And when you drag it in, you just drop it right there. And what it will do is pull it up right in here. So basically, we've gotten the white on white look right now. And that's kind of what I was going for. At this point, we can come in and change the title. And these are helpful for uh, search engines because the search engine will read this type of, type of thing. Let me just do things for my... So that's pretty simple. And then we're just going to save and publish it. So the, the problem now is it basically is not centered. I like things centered over the over the middle of the page. So what we're going to do is we're going to close out of this. Make sure you've saved your work so far. So we're going to close. Go back to Appearance. And what we want to do is go to the Theme Settings. And on the theme settings, we can have center logo, and we just enable that to center the logo and then save the settings. So if we go back to preview, so now that we have this centered and we're basically ready to go ahead and start setting up the site uh, how we'd like to have it. So what we're going to do is basically go back over to the dashboard here. And we're going to delete some of the information that's there already. They have set up some pages for us already, uh, just a sample page. We're going to go ahead and get rid of that. And they've also set up some a post for us already. And we'll go ahead and get rid of that too. So they had the Hello World post, which is a standard post that comes in with the themes. So we'll just delete both of those. And if you just to give you an idea, we're basically down to just what we see here. So pretty simple so far. Uh, we'll go back and we're going to actually add some pages now. So what we're going to do is we're going to set up a, a website where we have uh, two categories. So one of the categories we'll just do is, oh, I don't know, let's just pick Glamour, I guess. And then what we can do is just basically add some information in there. Uh, let's see if I can just gra grab something from my YouTube channel. So this is just some basic information that was on my YouTube, YouTube channel as far as um, one of the videos we posted. And then we can add some uh, pictures. 
and uh, let me explain that a little bit. So basically we have the, the information in here. We're going to basically drop a photo underneath it. So our, our cursor is here. We're going to go ahead and hit Add Media. And then what it's giving us is a, uh, we need to upload files because right now we don't have anything. So all we have to do to upload the files is actually just drag them over. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and grab some here and we're just going to drag them over, drop them in. And let it load up. We're going to go ahead and turn some of these off because we're just going to bring in one at a time. So we'll just insert that into the post. And when we insert that into the post, um, you have the option to come in here, uh, or when you're adding it, you can actually do that where you can center it or change the location and then change the size too. So right now we're just going to hold, hold, leave that right there and then go ahead and publish it. And then what we'll do is go back and just take a look at what we've done. So now we have a, a little bullet here with a glamour setting. So we can just click on that and it takes us to that page. So we'll go back to the dashboard. We're going to go back to pages. We're going to set up another category and we'll do uh, how about we'll do maternity images, I guess. Or maternity as a, as a, as a heading there. And what we can just say is I take maternity photos. and newborn photos. So at this point what we want to do is add some images to this page too. So we're going to go back to add media and we need to add some more uh, images so that basically we have we can put those under the into the area we want to. So I'll just drag and drop those three files here. And here what we have is we actually have how we're bringing those in. So we can bring them in centered or to the left. Um, we have different options as far as what size you want to do. I was doing large because I want them to fill the, the page pretty good. So, uh, so that's basically the image that we've selected. We're going to add that into the post and then just hit publish and then update. So now what we've done is we've actually created two different categories. Uh, we have maternity and glamour. So we can just click on that and that will take us to a page. Um, we can have a lot more information and just keep adding more photos so we can have it almost like a gallery of some type. So, uh, and it works pretty good. Now in these you can also put, um, put hyperlinks. So if we go back to the, the pages, And then basically we can pull up like the maternity page, for instance. And what we can do is we can just grab a word in here. Let's just grab photographed. And then we're going to just click on the link button. And then what we can do is we can actually, I can, and basically I can just add a web address and just drop it right in here. And that will be your hyperlink. So we'll go ahead and update it. We'll go back to the page. And then you'll hit Glamour, and you'll see the hyperlink right there. And once you click on that, that will reroute you to wherever you have it going. I basically ran it back to my uh, my uh, YouTube channel. So um, you can see where this is starting to come together a little bit just by looking at it. We have just the basics down. And generally what we'll do is we'll drop some photos and information in here too. So if we go back to the dashboard, we're going to add that as the posts. So uh, basically we're going to do Add New. And what I'll do is I'll just copy and paste some information about me for uh, just so that we have something to put in there. And I'll write who I am as the title of the post. Um, what we can do is is take some of the photos that we've are that we've already put in and just add those. We can go ahead and add those to the same posts, and they'll come up on the first page. So that would be the you know we can just go in and drop in image after image. You can put a lot more information in here too. It doesn't have to just be just the one sentence, but basically you can just drop in these images as you want. Let's grab, let's grab that one, I guess. And let's say we had other information. We'll just go ahead and drop that in here. Although it is the same information I just had, we'll go ahead and add another little another photo here, so, and we'll just publish. And at this point, if we go back to the website, uh, basically this is what we have. We can 
basically this is the the title of the the post that I just put in who, who am I gives a little information and shows some photos and then again we have that who am I back down here again so it's a way to put some images up there real inexpensively as far as a website pretty simple to build um, you do have the option to change and drop in a logo here um, so if we came up here for instance and then came down to appearance and came down to header and what it's going to do is ask you to choose a file so I'll go ahead and choose a file So now we've chosen the file, we're going to go ahead and upload it. And then basically it wants us to crop it to fit. So basically all we have to do is just drag, uh, drag the arrows over and crop and publish. And at this point you do want to save it. So we're going to save changes. And then we go back to the main page, you'll see where that adds that in. So that's kind of how simple that is. Um, so you actually have the logo and what's kind of cool too is even though you have the logo you still have the information, the title tag and the tagline so that that will help out with your search engine visibility. So hopefully this was, was helpful as far as just being able to get started. Um, WordPress is pretty overwhelming when you first open it up if you've never done much of this stuff before uh, just because it, it isn't real self-explanatory to start with. So hopefully this will kind of help things out and please uh, subscribe to my channel. Thanks so much.